Okay, Sayina, Global 12, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm good. Amazing, you're here with your whole band. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh my god, you're such a nice little bunch. Hi. Are you all so calm and collected before you're about to go on stage? Yeah, of course. No stress. Tell me a bit about the music. Global 12 is all about showcasing new talent and you're amongst these names from all over the world. My music, um, in terms of genre, yeah. um, I'd say neo soul R&B would be the kind of genre. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's, I hate the question. I always don't know what exactly it is. It sounds cool though, because I love all those genres that you just said. And you've got a bunch of boys who are your band. Um, what does it like? What is it like rolling with so many guys? Are they overprotective? Should I ask one of you? No. Hi. Are you guys really protective of her? How does this work? <laughs> um, well, no, not really. I don't know. Like, as long as, as long as, as a band, we're support, supporting everyone, then I guess that's all that matters, to be honest. And how did you all come together? Like, did you all grow up together? Like, how did this all happen? No, so it was quite recent. Um, so my, so we got the keys, we had two drummer actually and the keys guy actually couldn't make it, the, my usual band. We've got more people. So that You guys are going to be so expensive on tour. So, so then um, my drummer, my usual drummer is friends with Kyle here, okay. who's now the drummer. Uh, for today and then Daryl um, I got in contact with him and he's playing for today but my keys guys in Cuba wow. disappeared so it's pretty awesome <laughs> yeah. but it also shows that you're quite like flexible when you're a new yeah, artist you've you got to be right? yeah because like not everyone's going to be around are they so you've got to make yeah. up for yeah. whatever goes wrong all right guys what's rehearsals gone like today like how's it all gone um, well, we've been rehearsing the past couple of months leading up to, to today as well, so that's been really good. But um, I think we're just about to do our sound check actually, so... Okay, we won't keep you too long. Um, when you're a new act and you're having an opportunity to perform at an event like this, um, is it nerve-wracking or does it just feel like, wow, this is our opportunity to just shine and for people to hear the music? I'd say it's a mix of both. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm quite early in the gigging. I've done a few gigs, but obviously, like, you're always going to get the nerves and it's always going to be like, oh, what's, how's, how's it going to go? What's it going to be like? We're going to get people down. Um, so this one, I mean, it is a, it's a such a nice venue. So it is, it is really exciting. And then obviously, because there's so many other people, you're kind of less pressure on just you if it was just your gig. I think the main thing, the most important thing that you can remember for yourself is to gig as much as you can. Because you just you you'll just know you'll see similar faces come into the same gigs and then yes. you'll go from like 20 people to 30 people, 40 people to 60 people. It just it just grows bigger, I guess. Right. That's that's the main thing. Gig gig as much as you can, and make sure that you're you're tight as well. You're what? You're tight, tight as a band. Like you okay. can't. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. I think I would say practice a lot. Um, like practice honestly, like is the most important thing. Make sure that um, like you know, your world drilled and your instrument or whatever you're doing. And also um, listen to other musicians too, because that's where the main inspiration will come from.